And we're back in the attic. Ooh. So anyway, um, this is a newer install. Um, it's been having problems. I guess the uh, ECM motor started smoking and then it took out the board. Somebody else tried to come out here and change the board, but uh, I guess they ordered the wrong one. So uh, we got the right one and we got our new blower motor. So we're gonna go ahead and change it out. And this is one of those uh, one of those Goodman furnaces with the Bluetooth thing. So uh, that's the Bluetooth module right there. So we're gonna install it and set it up and uh, go from there. So here we go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this board out of the way since that goes. And this looks like it's partially disconnected, but thankfully they got these, uh, they call these, uh, well, Goodman calls these Phoenix connectors. So that makes things a little bit easier. And then everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Neutral, hots, all that good stuff. Okay. And then these are, this right here, this is actually for the safety drain switches, uh, which is nice that they come with a independent port so you don't have to break a line so we'll get that out so this board was giving us a uh, reverse polarity error code um, and we reversed the polarity and it still was doing it so and then this thing right here this right here this is that bluetooth module so we're gonna have to take that off so it's just held on by these standoffs and then you just plug it into there, so it's no big deal. But we'll deal with that later. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we need to get this plate out of the way. Um, this plate right here. And then if you see this, this actually should have came out on install. This is just for shipping purposes. So when you install these, you're supposed to take these out. So we're going to take that out. We're going to get this. Uh, actually, I could probably leave the plate on. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this blower out. <laughs> And get the motor replaced so apparently it was smoking so uh... okay so we got our blower motor back in there um total pain when they're horizontal like this so but anyway it's in there we got the blower and motor replaced um so now we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together so before we put the control board plate back on we need to hook this back up because it covers it so we're gonna take our mess of wires here and we can figure out which one is our uh, safeties. Which, uh, I already know it's the red and purple ones. So it's these two. So we can go ahead and plug those in. Alrighty. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this uh, plate back on, which is this guy right here. And it's just four screws, one on each side, and just right in there and right over there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this board on. Well, this one's nice because it already has all the standoffs installed. So the first thing we do, um, we'll go ahead and take off the plastic and try not to touch the actual board. And then, um, it already has a standoff, so. Okay, so we just gotta line up these uh, standoffs to the holes, and then just push it in. That's one, that's two, that's three. And there we go. We need to take our Bluetooth module off of here, and it's pretty easy. It's just these little standoffs holding it, and then this one uh, little data plug here just unplugs. You just pull, push the little that little pin back there. And what we do is you want to get some needle nose, and then these standoffs you just squish them, and then they'll pop right out. Just push these uh, right into these three holes here. Just like 
that. And that's in. And plug in the wireless module. We're gonna pull out this female connector. Alright, cool. So now we just gotta hook everything up. Alright, cool. So now we're gonna just double check, make sure I got all my connections right, and then we will power her up. So we'll Okay, right. so we have our we enter our username and our password and it's free to set up. You just hit register here. Log in. Okay, cool. So now it's going to show you all the furnaces uh, that we see. There's two furnaces here. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so th this, is the, this is the one we want. So we're going to hit that. All right, so we're going to pair by code. So we hit uh, pair by code. So if we look here... It's giving us a code number, so it's 220. So we're going to hit next. Uh-huh. And then we're going to type in 220. And then we hit uh, authenticate. And there you go. Okay. Cool. So now we have to update the firmware, so that's why it says update available. Uh, so just make sure you have internet. So we're going to go ahead and um, hit that. It's going to say, are you sure? We're going to update it. Now it's going to download. And now we just got to wait. And whatever you do, do not power it off. Don't turn your phone off. And this can take anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. So make sure you got some time. So we'll be back once this is all done. And then once this one's all done, it will... Uh, tell us so this other one here has it too so we'll update that as well uh, i won't let us do them twice so once this is done we'll do that one and then we should be good to go so okay so she's almost done and there you go so when it's successful this will pop up so it's actually going to reboot so we hit okay and this thing's restarting Okay, so now that the board's fully reset, um, it's showing up, so we just select it again. And once you do the pairing process with the code and everything, uh, you don't have to do it every single time. You just have to do it that first time. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're good to go. So now, this is a brand new board. It wasn't set at the factory, so we're going to have to do that, so... Okay, so now that we got it all updated, we need to program the board to this particular furnace. Uh, the way we do that is we're going to have to go to System Settings. We scroll down to Shared Data. And it's going to tell you you need to scan the barcode. And that's going to give it all the information it needs to set up this furnace. Now, usually when this is um, comes with the uh, control board already installed, like the original factory one, it's already done for you. But when you're swapping out these boards, this is what you have to do. So um, let me go ahead and find this thing first, and then we'll uh, go ahead and scan it. So you just basically, you can enter it manually, or you can take a picture of it. So we'll see if we can get the barcode thing to work. So let me see if I can find the info first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I found the barcode. It's right over there. So let's see. So we're going to see if we can use the scanner. So we're going to use camera, give it access. All right, so now let's see if this will work. Okay. And no, it doesn't work. So we'll just do it manually. So let me just get the model number. And then we will get it set. Okay, so we found it here, so we're gonna go ahead and select that. Okay. Yep, that matches all of our stuff, so we hit confirm. This will reset any previous unit, so yes, we wanna proceed. Control board's clicking. And now we just got to wait for it. So we'll be back. You don't have to wait for it, but I will. 
Okay, so once that's all done, this is successfully loaded. You hit OK. All right, so now, as you can see, it shows the uh, system set up. Now we have to uh, set up our non-communicating condenser, and that's because uh, it's, we had to use a slimline, and Goodman doesn't make one. So go to device settings. Okay. So set outdoor unit. So it is a single stage. Uh, air conditioner. So you hit done. Apply changes. Okay, and the only time you have to do this is when um, is when it's not a communicating. So in this case, we had to use a different type of condenser. Um, so it's not compatible. So you can wire this up for standard hookup, which is what we did. Uh, so once that's all done, it's going to say success, and then it's going to ask you for info. So this is a three ton, and it just needs this so it knows how hard to run the motor. Oops. So we set it to three ton. And then outdoor type, we set single, and then we can set the trim factor. Um, we can put cooling airflow profile, so it's profile D. You can look up what those are in the... Um, in the manual, but basically it controls the ramp up and down. So it gives you info if you hit the little, little exclamation point thing in the corner. Um, blower on delay, five seconds. Blower off delay, 60 seconds. And then uh, cooling low stage multiplier doesn't really apply in this case. So we hit apply and success. So we hit okay. So now our AC is done. And if you don't set this up, it won't work. Okay, so and then you can even add notes to it if you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to furnace and I'm just going to, you can actually turn the fan, the heat and the cool on through this app. So I'm going to test the fan first, make sure the blower is working. So we just hit that, run mode, 100%, run. And our fan should turn on. So the previous tech had told me that this blower uh, started smoking, or at least that one has. Um, so I'm going to let it run for a little while before I start testing other things just to make sure it's okay. But yeah. Alrighty, so the fan's been running for a while and it's pulling about 8 amps so everything seems to be cool. So I'm going to turn it off. So I just hit stop and then it should cut off. See, it's, uh, now it says idle. That's just showing what the airflow is. It says 8. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and try the furnace. So we're gonna hit furnace and we're gonna hit run and we'll just do 100%. Now our inducer should kick on. Okay, so um, everything's off. So we're gonna hit back because we wanna get out of the furnace. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select AC and we're gonna hit the little snowflake and we're gonna hit run. It's gonna ask for capacity um, this doesn't matter in our case, so we hit run. Okay, so um, something I forgot about. Uh, so I had to wire this traditionally between Y and C for the condenser. Uh, normally there's actually a port for the outdoor unit. So whenever you call for cooling through here, it's only going to control the furnace side, but it won't actually call for the condenser um, because there's no 24 volts going to Y. Um, now, if this was a communicating condenser, then it would turn on, but in this case, it won't. So, yeah, I forgot to mention that. But anyway, uh, everything seems to be good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close this all up, clean up my mess here, uh, fix those wires. And then uh, we're going to probably call it good, but so far, so good. So, yeah. But anyway, that's how you change a board using this uh, the uh, Cool Cloud from uh, Goodman. So it's a pretty cool thing, and then uh, you can actually put notes. So I'm gonna actually add a note and put that I uh, replaced the board. So you go to view notes and hit plus, and then you type in your notes. Yep. Okay, once you're all done typing, you hit done, and save. And now when somebody else comes out, they can see it. And it will show your your username, see? And it'll show the date and time. So replace control board and blower motor module. And you can even view all of them and all will show up. 
So that's pretty nice. I wish the other brands did that. And then if there's ever an update, it'll show like we saw earlier. So. And then configuration info. This will just show you, you know, stuff. Which in this case, it has nothing to show. And device settings. So this is where you can change the settings. But again, in this case, it doesn't really apply because it's not communicating. But yeah, this is pretty much the stuff you can do. Share data, that's pretty much going to... You know, it already has it. That's where you program it. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you replace the board with one of these new uh, Comfort Cloud things. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Cool Cloud. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell notification. And we'll see you on the next one.